The National Sleep Foundation recommends seven to nine hours sleep per night, but this should actually say seven to nine hours per 24 hour period, because napping absolutely counts towards your daily sleep quota and is often a much more realistic way of boosting your overall sleep time than trying to stay in bed for eight hours straight at night. A six year Harvard Medical School study has found that those who nap regularly are 37% less likely to die of heart disease than non-nappers, with male nappers reducing their chance of heart disease even more by up to 64%. There is no daily medicine that can reduce a man's chances of dying from heart disease that much. So naps really do offer incredible results. A sleepless night can increase irritability due to overactivity in the brain's threat center, the amygdala, by up to 60%. But thankfully, a 60 minute nap can greatly reduce that reactivity. And even naps as short as 20 to 30 minutes can decrease fatigue and improve mood and alertness. In fact, a study from NASA found that a 40 minute nap improved astronauts alertness by up to 100% while improving their overall performance by 34%. The most fascinating fact that I know about naps was discovered by Sara Mednick, a psychologist at the University of California, who found that after a 60 to 90 minute afternoon nap, people performed just as well on a memory test as they did after a full night of sleep. She said, it's amazing. In a 90 minute nap, you can get the same learning benefits as in an eight hour sleep period. I don't wanna labor the point here, but napping is incredibly good for you and makes you measurably better at anything you do after it. So I highly recommend finding a way to bring a nap of between 20 to 90 minutes into your daily or weekly routine. To learn more about how to sleep better and wake up happier, check out my new book, Wake Up to Sleep, available worldwide from anywhere that sells books now.